How can you find the greatest common factor and the least common multiple of three numbers using prime factorization and a Venn diagram? For our first step, we need to find the prime factorization of all the numbers. 4 times 3 equals 12. 3 is prime. 2 times 2 equals 4, and both of those are prime. 2 times 9 equals 18. 2 is prime. 3 times 3 equals 9, and both of those are prime. 3 times 10 equals 30. 3 is prime. 2 times 5 equals 10, and both of those are prime. For the next step, we need to fill out our Venn diagram. First, we draw a Venn diagram and label it 12, 18, and 30. Then we look at the prime factorization of 12, 18, and 30 and see what prime factors they have in common. 12, 18, and 30 have a 3 in common, so we can highlight the 3 and put it in the center of the Venn diagram. 12, 18, and 30 also have a 2 in common, so we can highlight the 2 and put it in the center of the Venn diagram. Since there are no other common prime factors, we need to fill out the rest of the Venn diagram. We put the remaining 2 in the 12 section, the remaining 3 in the 18 section, and the remaining 5 in the 30 section. Now that we have the Venn diagram filled out, we need to multiply the numbers in the center section of the Venn diagram. 3 times 2 is 6. So that means that the greatest common factor of 12, 18, and 30 is 6. Next, let's find the least common multiple of 12, 18, and 30. As you can see, the first step is the same. We find the prime factorization of all the numbers. The second step is also the same. We fill out the Venn diagram. Instead of just multiplying the numbers in the center of the Venn diagram, we need to multiply all of the numbers that are anywhere on the Venn diagram at all. So we can take 3 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 5. 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times 2 is 4. We bring down the 5. 9 times 4 is 36 and 36 times 5 is 180. So the least common multiple of 12, 18, and 30 is 180. Thank you for watching.